Hello everyone! Stretch fabrics are most commonly used for sewing garments because they're comfortable and move with your body. However, because of the stretch, they can be troublesome to sew with if you've not experienced working with them before. Today we're going to give you our best hints and tips to make sewing with stretch fabrics a breeze. Before you even begin sewing, get yourself acquainted with the fabric you're using. There's a huge variety of stretch fabrics out there and they can be made from cotton, spandex, fleece, or a mixture of materials. Touch the material and see if pulling in one direction gives way less stretch than the other. Keep this in mind when cutting your pattern and deciding what direction you want to have more stretch. A four-way stretch fabric will stretch the same in every direction. We always recommend washing the fabric before doing anything with it to prevent it from shrinking later. When laying out your pattern, try to keep your pins within the seam allowance to prevent leaving obvious holes in the fabric. Some stretch fabrics will be more prone to this than others. Be careful when cutting out your pattern pieces and avoid stretching the fabric as you cut. A knitted jersey will often curl on the edges. To flatten it, you can use a starch spray and press it. When you're ready to begin sewing, you'll want to make sure you're choosing the best needle and thread for the job. If you're sewing in a regular domestic machine, choose a polyester thread designed for clothing construction. We recommend this 40 weight thread called Designer. Not only is it strong, but it carries a small amount of stretch, making it ideal for stretchy fabrics and garment construction. Don't go for cotton threads, as they won't stretch enough, meaning they're more likely to break when the fabric is pulled. For your needle, choose a ballpoint needle which has a rounded tip. This helps part away the strands of the fabric. Because stretch fabrics have flex to them, this helps the needle glide through the fabric instead of punching its way through like with other fabrics. This avoids skip stitches and damaging the fabric while you sew. If your fabric is lightweight or tightly woven, you can also choose a stretch needle. The tip is more finely pointed, helping it slip between the weave of the fabric and also avoiding skip stitches and damaging the more delicate fabric. Another option is a twin needle. These are perfect for sewing hems and giving your project a professional look. We recommend using a narrow zigzag stitch on your sewing machine as it allows the fabric to stretch and retract with the thread. You can increase the stitch length slightly to a 2.5 to 3 millimeter setting. The longer stitch makes it easier for the fabric to stretch. Remember to sew slowly and avoid pushing or pulling the fabric as it's going through the machine to avoid distorting your fabric. If you find the fabric is having difficulty feeding through, you can lay a piece of tissue paper under the fabric for additional friction. The tissue paper can easily be torn away afterwards. If you own a cover stitch machine or a serger with cover stitch capabilities, you can achieve very professional results. It allows the fabric to retain a high level of stretch. The cover stitch will give you a beautiful and secure professional stitch that is perfect for finishing the hem on sleeves, pants, or collars. If you use a woolly poly on the lower chain looper, your fabric will stay very elastic and soft against your skin. Soft Lock is a woolly poly, and this low lint thread has an incredibly soft finish that's perfect for both knitted and woven fabrics. Recommended for use on medium to heavy materials, it's durable, color fast, and safe to iron. If you're looking for a finer finish, a rolled hem with Soft Lock will create a soft fine edge with no threads poking through. We hope these tips will make it easier for you to sew with stretchy fabrics. Let us know in the comment section below what you've made using stretch fabrics, or let us know what type of video you'd like to see next time. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up if you like this video, or hit subscribe for more great tips and tutorials. We'll see you all next time.